I'm Kevin Esterling, a professor of political science at UC Riverside, and um, I'm very interested in uh, methods for the design and analysis of field experimental data, uh, which are interesting data because they have a lot of properties of observational data on the, on the analysis. Uh, and and uh, I am actually uh, very interested in uh, this new movement towards transparency because I think it's going to help me uh, to do my, my own research better, to sort of think it through better on the front end. Uh, and doing field experiments is really complicated because there's, when you get out into the real world, there's a lot of complications in terms of how you design a study. Uh, and so I think it's going to help me think through uh, that design better at the front end when I, when I know that I'm going to be accountable for what I say on the back end. So I think that I actually uh, got involved with the transparency movement when I was having a phone conversation with Ted Miguel uh, just over a year ago. And I don't know why we were talking, but we were. And uh, Ted had this idea to do this conference in, and, uh, that w where we would sort of talk through these issues. And uh, I thought it was intriguing. And I remember Ted has this very infectious kind of personality. And he said, come on, Kevin, let's do it. This will be fun. And, uh, and it, it's turned out to be uh, more than fun. So it's fun uh, to talk about transparency issues because they're, uh, they're, they can be, it can be contentious, sort of how, what, uh, uh, in terms of how um, the kind of uh, practices you recommend and the norms that uh, you talk about can, have, uh, can affect, how, affect people's work. And so that can create... Uh, a lot of contention and debate, but I think it's it's an it's an important debate to have, and I'm attracted to that because it has a lot of uh, there's a lot of unresolved uh, issues that uh, matter very much for our disciplines uh, that I think that we really need to think through. And having a group uh, like the the meeting that we had last year, and then the network that we put together is is a really good group of people to talk about these things and think through these issues. So as I said, what I get out of attending this meeting is I think it makes my own research better. I think I learn a lot by attending this meeting and hearing people's talk. And it, I think what's nice about uh, talking about transparency is it's asking us to hold ourselves to very high standards for the qu quality of research that we do um, and the methods that we use. And I, and I want to hold myself to those standards and I ha kind of have that identity of myself uh, that I can be that kind of researcher. And so that's actually a big thing that I get out of attending today's meeting. And I think going forward, what I would like to see is, uh, now that I think BITS is pretty well institutionalized, it's an ongoing thing now, and there's a, it's just a great group of people who are very smart and very engaged and interested in this topic, that I think there are a number of issues that uh, need that we need to seriously engage uh, the concerns of people in the discipline um, and I also think that we I think it's a good group of people to think through how to how to talk about these new practices and norms in a way that that would make would be attractive to people in our discipline so that we're not just telling people uh, you know they need to eat their vegetables and uh, put sunscreen on or whatever it is that you know people's moms tell them to do that we're, we really need to talk about transparency in a way that makes people want to do it and I think that that's probably the next step what I hope to see us try to work on over the next year.